Hi, this is Matt from TracyMatt.co.uk, and here is the LG Secret, or otherwise known as the LG KF750. Um, just to do a quick unbox before we go on to do our full review. I'm always quite impressed with LG's packaging and presentation. And as you can see, this one's pretty good too. The phone is right on top, as you'd expect. And then look at that in just a second. Inside we have a series of boxes. Underneath, under here we have a phone charm, and we have the battery, which is a lithium-ion battery of 800 milliamp hours. I have another box which contains the mains charger, which has a proprietary style connector on it. Box with a USB cable which can be used for sync and charge from the PC and to transfer media. This box contains headphones or headset with inline microphone, push button and volume control. But it also has a plug there, so you can plug in ordinary headphones, you don't have to use the ones that are supplied. So you can use your own ones, which is an excellent idea. But the ones that are supplied do look quite good, they are proper in-ear and sound isolating type headphones. And they're quite weighty, so I expect they're probably quite good quality. On the other end of that cable is a proprietary connector, which plugs into the secret. You do also get additional earpiece grommets for different sizes of ears. And lastly in the bottom of the box have all the documentation and user manual. As well as a mini CD. Uh, it doesn't actually describe what's on the CD but I suspect it may be an online manual. I have getting started guide and a full user guide uh, which is just English language uh, so it's fairly lightweight so let's move the stuff out of the way this is the phone itself as I say this is the LG Secret or KF750 on the front we have a 2.4 inch QVGA display that's 240 by 320 it is a touch screen um, although I have heard that this is limited functionality Below that is a touch sensitive area with haptic feedback. So when we touch an area on the screen, there is actually a little vibrate function inside that lets us know that we've pressed the area on the screen correctly. Phone keys below, send and end phone keys and a power button. Uh, and there's another soft key in the center and then there's a push action button in the center of the screen. Now the screen does slide open to reveal a numeric keypad and these are physical keys and have a positive click action. So on the left hand side we have a cover which opens up to reveal our connector for USB sync and charge, plugging in our headphones and our mains charger. Nothing around the bottom of the device is quite smooth rounded off. On the right hand side we have a button for the camera. If I just peel off the plastic protecting film here, see them more clearly. I have, another, I have a series of buttons, one that looks like a menu button, one that looks like an OK or back button, and a volume control up down rocker. Um, I will confirm the exact functionality of those additional keys on the side when we actually come around to do, doing the proper review. Nothing physically on the top. On the back, I peel off the protecting film. We have a carbon fiber finish to the battery compartment, which is quite attractive, uh, and a 5 megapixel camera with a mobile light or illuminating LED or flash. If we open the back cover, instantly the back cover 
battery cover with that carbon fibre is actually quite weighty, um, surprisingly. You'd expect carbon fibre to be quite light, but it feels heavier than you'd expect if it was just made of plastic. So on, inside the here we have a micro SD card slot. A micro SD card goes in there. It does support a 4 gig micro SD card, um, but I don't believe it's uh, SDHC or micro SDHC compatible. On this side is where our SIM card goes, and obviously here is where our battery goes. So while I have that open, let me just install the battery. Put the cover back on. Not a particularly heavy device, um, so there is a certain amount of weight to it. It's not the smallest of devices. If we compare that, for example, to the HC Touch Diamond, uh, we can see it's comparable. Um, in fact, almost identical in terms of height and width and indeed thickness. However, the uh, secret is heavier, um, probably caused by the sliding mechanism there involved in obviously the keypad. Um, and as you can see, they're both extremely shiny and reflective on the front. So let me just take a second to mention the full specification on the LG Secret. It is uh, 3G and HS DPA, as well as being GSM, GPRS and Edge compatible. It weighs 116 grams, which is not terribly heavy. As I mentioned already, it is a 240 by 320 touchscreen and a haptic display below. This, these do light up, and I'm, again, I will show you that more on the review later on. Messaging functionality, as you would expect, there is SMS and MMS compatibility, as well as being a built-in email client. And there is a built-in web browser, which is WAP and uh, HTML compatible, although I understand it is fairly limited. Again, I'll confirm exact functionality of that in the review. Um, we also have built-in MP3 player and MP4 DivX player, so it will play DivX files. I also understand that there's an additional cable that you can purchase for the LG Secret that will allow you to output your videos or photographs to, to a TV or suitable other display device. And there is a built-in FM radio with uh, RDS functionality. As I already mentioned, there is a 5 megapixel camera, which once again I will provide some sample shots in the review. Standby time is listed at 260 hours and talk time is 4 hours. There's no Wi-Fi on this device but there is Bluetooth 2 with A2DP and finally there is 100 meg of built-in memory which is accessible to the user so you can store a limited amount of media files on the device without actually having to resort to the memory card but clearly if you're going to use it as an mp3 player or store many uh, 5 megapixel photos then you are going to want to install a micro SD card so over the next couple of weeks I'll be putting together a review I'll use this as a device for a couple of days and I'll be back online with my thoughts and write-up very soon.